Hi, I'm B.B. Bayless coming to you from Museum of Robots in Second Life. Today we're introducing the winners of our first annual Build a Robot competition, including some robot designer interviews and demonstrations. These robots are now a part of the museum's permanent collection, and we hope you'll stop by to visit them soon. This is entry number 37, winner of the Excellence in Homage to Classic Robots Award. It's called Robot by Smoothie Kid. The robot is the Lost in Space robot on the, based on the film Lost in Space. And Smoothie has been in Second Life for about 11 months. She spent 15 hours both in and out of Second Life over about four days, creating the textures in PowerPoint and the sculptees in Blender. Smoothie says that she thinks robots are really cool and there are unlimited uses for their potential. Her favorite robot is in movie robots is Robbie the robot and her greatest challenge in making this robot was the lack of good pictures. Some areas of the robot she simply had to speculate on what it looked like and she's pleased with the outcome and thinks it's a good representation of the Lost in Space movie robot. This is entry number 38 by Smoothie Kid, and it was a winner in the standalone class, which is for original work. Smoothie imagined what the Krell from Forbidden Planet might look like, as we never see them as anything other than a gaseous blob. So Smoothie spent about 10 hours both in and out of Second Life over three days, creating the textures in PowerPoint and the sculpties, which were made in Blender. The biggest challenge she faced in making this robot was having no real plan, just a general idea of what the Krell looked like. And given the limitations of the contest, which again was limited to no more than a hundred prims, she improvised as she went along to achieve something that was both her vision and what she imagined the Krell might look like. Again, entry 38, Krell by Smoothie Kid. This is entry number 22, Gear Grim by Seifert Slade, and is a winner in the Wearable Avatar class. Seifert builds robot and armor avatars, and so you can see what this looks like. I'll change into this avatar now. Seifert collects anime and enjoys collecting robots and many other items. He also collects mecha warriors and uh, heavy gear robots. This robot has many, many gears, hence the name Gear Grim. And whether walking, flying, or running, the gears vo rotate violently. I'll turn around and walk a bit so you can see the robot in action. This is entry number 42 by Gaynor Gritzy. The entry is entitled, The Young Scientist, Curiosity Without Responsibility. And this is a winner in the standalone class. This is Gaynor Gritzy's original work. Her favorite real life robot is Asimo. Marvin the Paranoid Android and Bender are the favorite fictional robots. And the biggest challenge was finding enough prims to build this robot. The build time was a weekend, and uh, Gator Gritzy's interest in robots is they're your plastic pals who are fun to be with. Speaking of fun, let me show you what's fun about this robot. This is entry number 23, Marvin the Paranoid Android, a winner in the Homage to Classic Robots class, and the designer was Snarkle Voom. Marvin was built by Snarkle Voom, sculpted in Maya 8.5, and then imported into Second Life using the MEL script provided by Carl Linden. 
Starkel spent about 30 hours modeling in Maya and another five hours creating the greeter script. You'll have to come into Second Life and come chat with Marvin because he has exactly the personality of Marvin from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy upon whom he's based. Starkel says that he's been in Second Life for just over a year and wanted a different greeter for his own shop and he's been a Hitchhiker's fan for more than 20 years so Marvin was a logical choice. He decided to go with a new Marvin from the Hitchhiker's movie as he prevented more of a challenge from the construction point of view. His favorite robots are Marvin, of course, Robbie from Forbidden Planet, and K-9 from the 70s version of Doctor Who. He says to anyone who appreciates Marvin, always know where your towel is. This is entry number 33, Henry by Hollow Prim. Henry was entered in the standalone robots category where it won an award for excellence and was also a People's Choice Award winner. The builder Hollow Prim says, Hollow was raised by a robotic assembly line that was left running in an abandoned bubblegum factory somewhere in North America. As a result, she has a great affinity for machines and her flavor lasts an extra long time. As you can see from Henry, Henry is a self-contained robot within robots. If you look closely at Henry through the open door of the belly, you'll see that there are robots inside, hard at work. If you go around to the back of Henry, you'll see that there's a brain hard at work in the back of the head, and that Henry's engine gives off, well, exhaust through a pipe in the backside. Again, this is Henry by Hollow Prim.